Right, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, so today we're gonna look at uh, how we do uh, back address changing on our machine. So uh, what is, uh, 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 you know, why do we need to change uh, MAC address? But before then, you know, MAC address or MAC changer is pretty much effective, you know, when we have a dedicated Linux machine or a physical machine. Uh, not so much on the virtual box because uh, because anytime you restart your virtual box, you get a new MAC address anyways. So uh, whenever we reboot our virtual machine, we get a new MAC address here and there and so forth. So it is not so much effective on uh, the virtual box, but when you have a dedicated machine or a physical machine that has just Linux, or you have a machine that is solely for like your, you know, your, your testing and stuff like that, you have a Kali Linux that is on the dedicated machine, you might want to know or learn how to do Mac changing or how you change your Mac addresses and stuff like that. Uh, so pretty much because we don't want to, yeah, I mean, I'm going to show this on the virtual box, but it's not effective on the virtual box. This is what I'm trying to say. Not so much effective on the virtual machine. When you have a virtual machine like Linux, Kali Linux virtual machine, it's not so if, so much effective when you're changing your Mac address. It is only effective when you have a physical machine that is like a dedicated Kali Linux machine or a laptop that you have dedicated solely for Kali Linux operating system then you can do the mac changes that's where you can have an effectiveness of that and also uh it changes the wireless uh, adapter so let's say you have a wireless adapter that you use with your uh, uh with your dedicated or physical linux machine that wireless adapter such as the alpha or uh, the you know some of these uh, network adapter manufacturers out there you can change your mac address of that network card interface all right so let's let's go into uh, but <clears throat> and again, changing back address increases our uh, anonymity. That, that, that's just uh, one of the benefits of that. So before we do that, let's just dive that into it. We have um, IF config. So we do IF config and then we, we, we locate our MAC address. You know, so for now we have this as my MAC address on this machine, right? So a little bit uh, of a background of, of our MAC, uh, MAC address. So the first three bits set here, actually representing the manufacturer, whoever is the manufacturer of this device is what this first three bit set is representing. And then the last three bit set is representing the actual device, right? So we can do a quick search on the internet and then uh, there's this first three, so we have zero eight zero zero two seven. So we could do this one here. We'll do a quick search on that. And then we could tell that this MAC address actually belongs to all the manufacturer here, right? Here we go. This is by what? This is uh, manufactured or this is what this MAC address uh, or this device was actually manufactured by Cadmos Computer Systems. So this is how you can easily look at the, uh, the manufacture of any of the network interface devices on your network. You know, by MAC address, the first three set will represent the manufacturer. All right, so moving on. So moving on, we're gonna have, um, All right, so we're gonna clear out the screen real quick. Let's clear out the screen. All right, so now that we know how what uh, the MAC addresses are, like the parts of the MAC address, how do we change the MAC address of, uh, of our device? And again, I'm gonna say that again, it's very effective when you have a dedicated machine or a physical machine, not so much on the virtual machine. All right, so we could do MAC changer. dash r and then our uh, interface because we're using the interface if zero right so this is you're going to do a mac changer the dash r is representing a randomized we want to randomize our mac address we don't want to have our old mac address or our you know mac address that we have so in order to do that we could do this show with a dash uh, dash s if zero, so now we know we have, this is our current MAC address. This is what we have 
it ends with what C six uh, E, and this we just verified that this was from what Cadmus, right? So now paying attention to this last four, F nine, six E. All right. So if I do map changer with a dash R to randomize the MAC, uh, the MAC address or to get a random MAC address. So this is what what is going to happen. This is my current MAC address, and this is my permanent MAC address. So the current and the permanent is the same here, but the new MAC address for this device is going to be this one here. So when we do show MAC address again, so you see this is my new MAC address. So I have kind of changed the MAC address from this MAC address to a new MAC address. And again, it's very effective when you do this on a physical machine. But the problem with the dash R here is when you do that, you're going to lose your internet connectivity on the virtual machine on the virtual machine. So let's do pinggoogle.com real quick. So you realize that I'm not getting internet connection. Right? Because the MAC address is an unknown MAC address. So definitely you're not going to get a, an internet connection on a virtual box or a virtual machine. But when you do this on a physical machine, you can you will get an internet connection. Right, so you see this name service, uh, this name or the service not known that we cannot get internet service on this machine. But then again, how do you revert that? You can revert that by using a dash P. So we're going to change it back to our permanent MAC address. So when we do that, now we can get an internet connection on this device or on this machine. Yeah, so you, here you go. See, we have a uh, internet connection on this uh, machine. So this is how you change your MAC address on, uh, on the device that you have on your network interface card. You can do the dash R and then the dash P. So pretty much the dash S here will show you whatever MAC address you have on the, on the system. And then the dash R will attempt or will randomize all the MAC addresses on the device. Pretty much everything changed. The manufacturer bit set and the device bit set changes when we did uh, the dash R. So again, dash S will show you all your MAC addresses, the current and the permanent one. And then the, the dash R will give you the new randomized MAC address. But when you do that in a virtual machine, you will not get, you'll lose your internet connectivity. So you have to reinstate the permanent MAC address by using the MAC changer dash P if zero. That's the interface. Whatever interface you connected on, if you connected on if one, if two, whatever interface you have, specify that interface and then you can bring it right back up. And then you can get your internet connectivity. And again, we can also do this uh, um, by let's power off our machine real quick. We can actually physically change this on our virtual machine. So we have this machine is here, right here. We can go into settings and then we can go into network. We expand the advanced, see this little uh, you know, uh, icon down here. You can generate a new random MAC address instead of you know using the MAC changer, you can do this. This is another way of doing it. You can click on it and then you can get randomized. You can randomize your MAC address. You can get new MAC address. And then when you're, set, when you're done, you can start your machine. And this is gonna give your machine a new or a brand new MAC address. All right, so I hope this video was, <clears throat> was very helpful. Uh, see you next time. Yeah.